Hello everyone, today I'm going to show how to do simple melee attacks without the melee module. Many shooters have a simple melee attack and you can do this without needing an additional module. Before we start I would like to thank all of my Patreon supporters for the amazing support. This scene will be made available on Patreon. So we're starting with a empty scene here. I'm going to add a plane and I'm going to make it quite big just to make sure you know we can't drop off the edge and reposition this all to zero. Then let's add a camera motor. There we go. And let's make sure it's actually recognized. Not sure if it does this in play mode, but just want to be sure about this. So I'm going to make the camera motor have a slight offset so it's not exactly behind the player. This way it's easier to actually see some things. Going to turn off zoom, orbit inputs, and I'm going to make repositioning a bit faster. There we go. Going to add a player, and I'm going to add a character here as well. And let's drag out a character a bit. Rotate him. There we go. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I created a new folder here, animations, and I'm going to create a state. And what a state is, it's basically a type of animation asset for a game creator. And it allows you to have an enter and exit clip as well. Now it's not necessary for um, this specific case because we don't really need an enter exit but for example if you do a state for aiming you could actually have a draw and she you know holster animation in here there we go so now we need to find an animation and let's make sure we rename this to something useful so melee01 and I have Frank's fighter animations here um, they're on sale right now I'll link it in the description um, it's a really, really nice looking animation set. So I'm going to use this one and we can preview it and this is what it looks like. And as you can see, he's hitting with his right hand. If you want to do a different one, so this one he's hitting with his left hand. Um, that's quite important. So make sure you know what, how they are hitting. So this is right hand. And this is right hand again trying to see if there's one with that kicks I'm not really sure I'm pretty sure there is one in there actually but yeah if you have a kicking animation for example um, keep in mind just um, basically think of which foot is being used etc that's going to be quite important so I'm just going to use this one I'm okay with this so we're going to use that and let's go back here Select our melee, I'm going to lock this, go back to the folder and drag it in. And there we go. Perfect. So we can unlock this now and let's go to our player. So on our player, I'm going to create a new empty here and this is going to be called combat with a trigger. And I'm going to use a input trigger for on mouse down. So input mouse down and I'm going to do right mouse button. And you can change it to whatever you want. Obviously, if you want a different button, it's completely up to you. And I'm going to create some really simple actions here. There won't be any conditions. It will just be, you know, once you press right mouse click, you will initiate melee combat. Now we can have the animation play but not much will happen so in order to do this on the player I'm going to create a 3D object and that will be a sphere. Here we go and I'm going to reposition this around the hand. Let's make this a bit smaller and this will represent the fist. Now let me turn off the mesh renderer here and yeah this is pretty much the size of his hand. Obviously it's round, 
Um, and there is a reason for that. You need to make sure we actually have a good hit detection. If you make this really small a capsule that just forms around the fist, there's a big chance you won't have proper detection of collision. So I wouldn't do that, you know, it's not necessary. So there we go. And we need to make sure this has a tag. And I have a fist tag here, and we can just add a tag. Let's do um, melee. There we go. We're going back to our sphere, and we add our melee tag. Now this tag is really important, so make sure you have one. Doesn't really matter what you call it, just don't reuse one you use for something else. That's the important part. Make sure it's a new tag. So I'm going to drag this out here. So here we have our sphere. And I'm going to rename this, um, I don't know, fist. And if you are using the feet, so if it's a kick attack, um, this size will be fine as well. You know, there's not much of a size difference. If you are doing a headbutt, for example, um, this would actually work fine as well. Um, it's big enough, but you might need to make it a tiny bit bigger. But yeah, that's uh, that's up to you, depending on what the animation is, because it doesn't really matter in this case. Um, but as you can see, even this would work fine. So in the animation folder, I'm going to drag in that fist so it becomes a prefab, because we need to instantiate this. So I'm going to remove this here. There we go. So in our combat actions, I'm going to use... So I'm going to go to character and character attachment. So I'm going to select player and this animation is a right hand punch. So for this case, I'm going to attach it to the bone of the right hand. If you're doing a kick, make sure you do a right foot or left foot, whatever it is, or a headbutt, make sure it's the head or whatever type of animation you have. It doesn't really matter all that much. So I'm going to drag in the fist here. I don't really need to change the positioning here. It will just be centered and that's completely fine. I'm going to call the state. So we're going to change our player state and we're going to change to our new melee. Now I'm going to add a weight here because we need to make sure the melee animation actually finishes. And in order to make sure you have the right length, you can actually look that up. So if you go to melee here and you look up your animation, you can see it's 0 0.9 seconds. Now, as you can see, he goes completely back at the end as well. And we, I don't really need those last frames as there is some animation blending. So I'm going to make it a bit shorter. So 0 0.6 and what I'm going to do here is I'm simply going to copy this over and I'm going to reset our state and I'm going to copy this over as well and I'm going to remove the attachment. Now the reason I'm doing it like this is I don't want his hands to be some burnable object. We only want to do damage once we actually perform our animation. And in this case, the hit detection, which is our fist, the collider, will only appear the moment the animation performs. And these happen at the same time because they're before the wait. And after the wait, this will happen at the same time as well. Now, I want to drag this up because I want to remove this straight after the punch and this will take some transition time. So that's why I'm doing it in this order. So let's collapse all of these. Perfect. Now we need to make sure our enemy character actually takes some damage. So I'm going to add some stats to it. Um, this is not necessary, by the way, I just want to highlight. It's just to demonstrate we're taking damage. And I'm going to make it even more obvious by adding a trigger here and we're going to do a tag enter and this is the tag we just created so melee and yeah melee and I'm going to add some really simple actions here we can even do con conditions let's do some conditions let me remove these actions and we're going to do some conditions so <clears throat> if our 
if uh, attribute value of the well we can I'm not going to do invoker I'm really going to drag in the character here if his health is less or equal to zero he's going to ragdoll otherwise we're going to instantiate and instantiate basically means you know it, it will appear out of nowhere um, we're going to instantiate some blood so I have some really basic blood spatter particles from Sinti so I'm going to use that blood splat and I'm going to select transform and it's going to be on our character and I'm going to put it a bit higher because otherwise it would be on the ground here so it's going to be one which is about here and that's a blood you know splatter so it will look fine and we're going to subtract so change attributes again I'm just going to drag in the character invoker is can be a bit tricky at times so health subtract and we're going to do I don't know 10 health and let's inspect that melee again I just want to make sure I set the tag right so we're going to go to our prefab here let's open this up so one thing I actually missed here as you can see is trigger uh, needs to be turned on so it needs to be a trigger not a, a block and let's actually add an additional step so I'm even going to create a new simple state here let's call this hit damage whatever it's a bit of a weird name hit damage um, let's lock this and I'm going to go to Frank's fighter again and look up a hit pretty sure there's a hit there we go cool so let's inspect this actually make sure it's the right one it's a bit exaggerated but you know fine whatever and here the same make sure we um, change all of this to the right ones and yeah you need that offset um, you know 0 0.1 might be a tiny bit too much it might be 0 0.09 but the offset basically lowers and makes sure we don't float so where are we so in the conditions we're going to do a state here as well character state again I'm just going to drag in the character just to make sure and we're going to use our hit so let's lock this hit the damage and let's drag that in now we need to add a weight here because we did change the state and this should be really short um, you know make sure this is not too long so I'm going to do I don't know 0 0.4 might be a bit too short but let's do 0 0.5 it, sh it shouldn't be long and we're going to reset our state so there we go so if our health the one we just used with stats is below or equal to zero the character so this was still set to player the character is going to ragdoll um, he's not going to recover in this case and if his health is um, higher than zero um, we're going to do the hit animation instantiate some blood take off some health and reset the state so let's try this out so as you can see we're punching right now just by clicking it and the animation plays just fine so that's good and as you can see he's taking some hits and he's rectaling and I thought that looked a lot more exaggerated actually in the in the preview but it actually looks fine it looks like a good hit animation so let's try this again
Perfect. Now the important thing here to um, you know to highlight is that this is not a you know a way to replace the melee module, not even close. This works completely fine for simple attacks like this, and you know most shooters have simple melee attacks. Can't really think of one that doesn't. If you want to have complex combos, etc., it will be insanely difficult to um, to do that without the melee module. And it's not impossible. Nothing's impossible with core, but you know it, I'm not suggesting this as a uh, as a replacement, basically. So just something to keep in mind. So hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please hit like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.